Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be going over how you can create multiple fields all in one go. Your question may be, is this even possible to create multiple fields all at once? Sort of. We'll be using a tool from Cloud Toolkit. Now, Cloud Toolkit has a suite of tools. This is designed to help assess your org and with any configurations. As it states here, from diagnosing your org, comparing environments to activating and deactivating Salesforce components. So specifically in this video, we are going to use the field creator. Click on here. And as and when it comes to uh, environments, there's production, developer, and sandbox. If you do plan to use this tool, always use sandbox. It's always recommended. But I'm going to use developer because my environment is a developer org. So log in. You're presented this screen, so allow access. And we're in. So the next thing I want to do is query list of objects. Click here. Now, obviously, um, it may take a while if your org is uh, large with many objects and fields. From here, select your desired object. I'm going to pick car. So we have label, name, and type. And we have options and profiles. Now, very much similar to the uh, field creation wizard in Salesforce, it has description, help text, required, and such. That is if you select text. We have the uh, field level security settings here. You can apply it to all fields. If you have multiple fields, you can apply this to maybe just one field. All right, I'm going to uh, add some fields. As you'll notice, once I add the label and I just click here, it auto populates the uh, API name mileage underscore underscore C. So we do have data types of these kind here. Uh, the most popularly used uh, checkbox, currency, date, date time, email. Uh, you'll notice that uh, lookup or master detail relationship um, formula field is uh, not present here. But uh, we have the important ones like text, phone, pick list, number percent so i'm going to keep this one as text i'm going to uh, make this a pick list i'm going to make this a pick list as well pick list and i'm going to keep this as uh, let's make this number and once you go to options here you can add your uh, values here i'm just going to type it out real quick SUV. Raven. I'm going to click save. Uh, so for text, you can keep it 255 as the default. Or, you know, I'm just going to make it 100. Now for the profiles, click on edit. I'm going to keep it as it is. Apply to all fields. Let me see, yep, it's there, it's there. So after uh, giving my labels to my uh, fields, let's deploy these fields. Click on deploy, it is deploying. It says field successfully created. Now you wanna pay attention here. Profiles are deployed silently after the fields have been deployed. This can take a few minutes to reflect in your org. It pays to check the profile settings after deployment. So let's return to the org. All right. So as you can see, uh, the fields were deployed. But let's check for the field level security. Ah, uh, as you can see, it didn't apply the uh, field level security as I specified. 
This is kind of uh, one drawback to the tool. But not to worry. Uh, you can add this and configure it yourself at uh, any given moment. So another thing that you should consider looking at is the page layouts. You might have noticed that uh, we weren't able to uh, select the page layouts where we wanted the fields to uh, be positioned in. So this is another thing that you would have to do after deploying the fields into your org. I'm just going to quickly drag and drop these. So uh, let's do a uh, sample run. I'm right here in cars object. Click on new. So mileage, just say like 5,000. Say Acura. RX. CSUV. And uh, yeah, let's just save. And voila. Now this is your tool if you want to create multiple fields at once. But remember the limitations of the field level security and the uh, page layout element. So remember this tool is free. Uh, I will leave a link in the description for this tool. So that's all I have for you today. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I will catch you in the next one.